but the sleeve detail is a little bit on the extreme side. I mean, it's like a wizard sleeve. That is literally, it's like a wizard sleeve. It's so long. I mean, I hope it looks nice on me, but Lauren the wizard, basically. Um, Welcome back to my channel and today's Boohoo Haul. So I've got my little drink with me. I've got so much stuff to show you guys. I'm actually really excited because I've not opened it all yet. So this is a spring Boohoo Haul I'd say. Sorry I've got my hair is sticking to my gloss. So there's hardly any loungewear actually which for me is a big shocker. So yeah there's loads of cute spring outfits in here that are going to be perfect for when we leave lockdown and even for now when we like go out and go for our walks or do the food shop. Um, things like that. So I really really hope you enjoy. I've also still got my discount code for you guys so if you use code Boohoo Babe UK, you can save money on both full price items and sale items. So you're going to save your money either way. And I'm going to get started with the haul. If you do enjoy this video and you do like the bits that I picked up, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel also. So I'm going to get started now. So as you can see, we've got two very big bags of stuff here. So I'm now going to crack open some of the items. So just for your reference, guys, I am 5 foot 2 and I am a UK size 8 to 10 both on the top and on the bottom so just for your reference when i'm trying all this stuff on okay first up this really is something else so i picked up this really cute oversized blazer in like a gray color oh my gosh so it's a little bit screwed up as you can see i have hung it up just so it looks a little bit <laughs> more presentable this is perfect you can either wear these with like jeans and heels or you can also wear them in cycling shorts depending on how oversized you go for so i went for this in a size 10 and as you can see it is quite oversized but i just think this color and everything you cannot go wrong with an oversized blazer i absolutely love this color but look at it it's so nice as always i will link everything below for you in the description box okay so i love this but i feel like i probably should have gone for a size 8 because it is a little bit too big on me i could actually put a bodysuit underneath this and wear it a little more open so i could definitely get away with it but i just feel like for me personally a size 8 would probably be better but i absolutely love the color and the style i think it's so pretty okay so as you guys saw the blazer is a little bit too big on me what i think i could actually do is actually pair it with a bodysuit underneath and have it undone um that might work quite well or even just pulling the sleeves up slightly i just feel like it's a little bit too oversized but actually i could probably make it work um with a little bit of styling so yeah i still really really like that one okay so next up i actually thought this was a bodysuit so this is just a really cute silky puff sleeve top so i got this one in a size 8 and it's actually quite an oversized 8 so i'm glad i didn't go for the 10. i just think the whole puff sleeve detail is really cute and this like with a pair of high-waisted jeans uh, like denim jeans tucked in I think it was really pretty so they've also got this in um, white and black but I feel like pink well it's kind of like peachy pink was just a more of a girly spring colour I'll just bring it closer so you can see so yeah the whole sleeve detail I just thought it was quite flattering and you couldn't really go wrong so yeah that with a pair of denim jeans is an absolute go-to for me oh I absolutely love the next item okay so I picked up this really cute love heart print play suit I just don't think you can go wrong with a play suit like this, especially when it's really warm outside and I just think play suits are so comfy because they're not tight and they're like a little bit stretchy and you can kind of like move around in them. So this is this play suit here, it's got like a little tie belt, tie belt detail at the front and the sleeves have just got cute little bows on. So I got this one in a size 10 and so here is the print a little bit closer up. I'm actually glad I went for a size 10 uh, rather than an 8 because the 10 doesn't look too... Um, oversized and it just has got like a nice elasticated waist. This with a nice pair of sandals is just a really classy look and I honestly, for, I, I for one, I'm going to be wearing this when we can go out and about um, in summer. I feel like I'll be wearing this for like a cute little lunch date with the girls or something. So here is the full length of it. I absolutely love this. So, so comfy. What are your thoughts on this item by the way? Do you like it? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do like the bits that I picked up. And we're going to go on to the next one. This cute little top. So I also, this is actually a little bit different for me because I wouldn't normally go for like so many prints and you're going to see so many different prints in this haul. It's a bit crazy. So this is a butterfly print crop top as you can see here. Not necessarily something I'd normally go for but I just thought the frill sleeves were cute. So I got this one in a size 10 and it is called the butterfly print crop top. So again, I would just wear this with jeans or shorts and I for one think that bardo tops like this just go with anything basically and I feel like they do look quite nice like regardless of what you're wearing it with again like a springy summery kind of vibe going on there okay I did mention that we had one item of loungewear in this well I said there was hardly any but there's just one so I finally got my hands on some white joggers honestly I've been trying to get hold of white joggers for the longest time now and every time I go onto all the different websites 
they're always out of stock in my size which is really annoying but it also shows how popular they are so I managed to bag these in a size 8 and they are the pocket detail skinny joggers so as you can see they've just got the pocket detail here and the cuffed ankle. I would just tend to wear these with bodysuits and trainers just for like a really easy chilled look and yeah white joggers is something I don't currently have so I'm actually really happy and I hope they fit and look nice. We shall see how I get on with those ones. Oh my gosh, comfiest joggers ever. They're aligned with fleece on the inside. Oh my gosh, so comfy. Absolutely love these. They are just so soft and snug. Okie dokie, moving on. This cute little polka dot top. So this one is actually a tie strap top. So at the moment, they're both undone. Okay, so as you can see here, it's just a really cute blouse. I actually used to have a top like this when I was literally like 16. Um, and it seems like they're all coming back in again. So as you can see, you just tie the straps here and it's just a really cute, like meshy kind of material. I'll bring it closer. I got this one in a size 10, I think. Yeah, um, and they've also got it in like a purpley color, but I just thought that, um, I felt like this color would go with more for me personally. Um, I don't really tend to wear that many polka dotty things, but um, I just thought it was quite pretty with a nice pair of jeans and some nice espadrilles or sandals. You've got like a really easy, pretty top there. Okay, so how many of you have been watching tie-dye videos on TikTok because <laughs> I've become obsessed, not that I've tried it myself yet, but I did pick up a tie-dye item because, let's be honest, it's ever at the moment. So this is a really cute tie-dye play suit now. I would actually tend to wear this like on holiday around the pool, but I feel like when we're sitting in the garden we just want something comfy on. Now I got this one in a size 10 because it looked relatively stretchy, but it's so, like, the, the colours on it are just so girly and like, I don't know, look at that. I just absolutely love that. So I got that one in a size 10 and it's one-shouldered. And there is a cute little crochet trim around the edge, which I don't know if you can see. Bring it closer. There you go. So there's a little trim around the edge. So it's like all the blues, all the pinks, all the whites. And yeah, the whole tie-dye effect is ever at the moment. It's really, really popular. And I saw this on there and just thought, do you know what? I need it. I'm just going to have a sip of my wine because I've not stopped talking. Mm -mm -mm. Another really pretty crop top here. So this one is actually a petite one. And it's got that organza sleeve kind of detail. So as you can see, it's just floral like this. I got this one in a size 10. Um, again, I would just pair this with a pair of denim shorts or jeans. And these are kind of like easy tops to have in your wardrobe. They're cute for days out. Obviously, when we can go out, you know, I'm, you know what I mean. This is kind of like my leaving lockdown outfits, which I'm going to do a lookbook on. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do a leaving lockdown outfit lookbook because I feel like we're all going to need some inspiration when we eventually can go sort of semi back to normal. Um, so this top was a really good price. Like I said, I've got the petite one in a size 10 and the best thing is the sleeves, like the organza detail isn't on the inside. So it's just like the normal top on the inside and then it's just on the outside. So it's not going to be, um, the organza detail isn't going to be like itchy or irritable because I know that some of those kinds of tops can have like that effect on here that makes you just feel really like itchy and horrible, especially in the heat. So yeah, that one's pretty. Another really cute top here. It does come up quite small for a 10, but I guess that's because it's the petite range. But I do think this is still really pretty. Um, I probably could have just done with getting a size 12. Okay, a real basic. I've been wanting some white cycling shorts for ages. I've got grey ones, I've got black ones. I just never got around to getting any white ones. So these ones are in a size 10. To be honest, I just got them to go underneath like baggy t-shirts because I feel like some colours, depending on what colour tee you're wearing, just looks better with white cycling shorts rather than black or grey. I feel like sometimes they, those colours can be a little bit harsh. So these are super, super cheap and like I said, in their basic range. So I've just paired the cycling shorts with this grey boohoo top that I think I included in my previous boohoo haul. The cycling shorts are so comfy. I just love them. So as you can see, I've just paired them with this grey tee. Oh, look at these denim shorts. Do you know what? I actually haven't had any denim shorts from Boohoo in the longest time. So I picked up these pre relatively plain, actually, denim shorts. I don't know if they're high-waisted. I mean, I thought that they were. Um, let's see. Oh, it doesn't say they're hot pants. Oh, God, I wasn't prepared for hot pants. Um, these are just the Mariah mid-blue denim hot pants, and I got those in a size 10, which I'm glad I did because I like them to be a little bit baggy around the waist, although these don't look that baggy. I'm really hoping that these aren't, like completely hot pants because I was thinking they were going to just be like normal shorts like high-waisted shorts but either way yeah they're just really plain and again just a real staple in your spring and summer wardrobe so they actually fit fine I'm definitely glad I went for a size 10 they're not as baggy as I'd have liked but I love the whole acid wash detail around the front and yeah I'm really happy with these I absolutely love the next item I'm going to show you so this is a play suit here as you can see absolutely love this print this with a pair of tan sliders it's a yes from me so i got this one in a size 10 and it's called the boho print bardo play suit in rust i absolutely love this i just think the print on it's really cute and i just feel like play suits look really smart 
not like smart as in dressy, but smart as in quite classy and sophisticated, should I say. Not that I'm that sophisticated, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I really, really like that one. And also, it was a really good price. I can't remember on top of my head. I'm really sorry, I'm used to the prices, aren't I? But basically, it's a really nice colour. So yeah, that with tan sliders, well, sandals, um, would be really pretty. Okay, this play suit is, an, is actually one of my favourite items from the haul. It's so comfy, I absolutely love it. And I would just pair it with these tan sandals. I just feel like these two together would complete the look. And then a nice tan bag. But honestly, this play suit is so comfy. You just cannot go wrong. Okay, we have got this little top, which again is from the petite range. I got this one in a size 10, and it's actually like the one I'm wearing now. So um, the one I'm wearing now is like a Roche one, so you can pull it up. And this one is exactly the same. They also have it in white, but I went for black because I just feel like it goes with more. So <laughs> it washes me out completely. Um, yeah, this one's just got a cute little white trim, and as you can see there, Again, an absolute basic in the wardrobe, but something that you just find that you'll reach for all the time, whether it's with shorts. You can even wear these with joggers. I've got this one on today with a pair of joggers or jeans, whatever you're feeling really. But yeah, these kinds of tops, the white trim just makes it look really pretty, I think. So I actually wanted this in yellow, but they sold out literally as I was adding it to my basket, so I was a bit upset really, um, because I feel like yellow would have been so much cuter in this. But this is just a white, white, pink cami. And I got this one in a size 10, Probably could have got away with an 8 because I did want it to be relatively tight but um, yeah I went for a 10 and again this was just a pair of denim shorts or jeans just tucked in and a nice belt, really simple, really really cheap. I think this was like £6 or something so absolute bargain basically. Okie dokie. I also picked up this tee, I've hung this one up because it was a little bit screwed up. This one I got in a size small and they've also got this in black. I just went for white because I wanted some more white items in my wardrobe. It just says women, I don't really know what it says on it. Being kind is free I think is what it's saying. I'm reading between the lines here, so I think that's what it says. Um, it's actually quite oversized for a size small, so I'm glad I didn't go for the medium in that one. And I would probably just pair that with cycling shorts. So yeah, nothing really more to say about that. Okay, so here is the white oversized tee. I'm definitely glad I went for a small because a medium would have been too big. Okay, so this next item is slightly more extreme than I actually thought. So this looked just like it was going to be sort of like a really cute sort of oversized top. Now, it is relatively oversized. I mean, look at the sleeves on that. So this is really cute though. I've got this in a size 10 and it is just in the colour ivory. Um, I love this whole sheared, shired, don't know how I'm saying that, um, detail. And uh, again, I think these are so classy with a really nice pair of jeans and a smart pair of shoes. But the sleeve detail is a little bit on the extreme side. I mean, it's like a wizard sleeve. That is literally, it's like a wizard sleeve. It's so long. I mean, I hope it looks nice on me, but Lauren the wizard, basically. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm not even joking. My new name is basically Lauren the wizard. Look, look at that. It is like ginormous, but it is a really pretty top. And actually, I can't wait to try it on because I feel like it'll probably look a lot better on. That is a, that is a sleeve in half. Okay, so the whole sleeve situation doesn't look as bad. Doesn't look as much like a wizard. I do love it, but I'm just not used to it. Um, I think it definitely looks better on. I've worked out what it is. I feel like I'm one of those sumo wrestlers. You know when they have the inflatable costumes on and they're like running towards someone? Um, that's what I feel like right now. But having said that, I do actually do like it. Look at that. I love this bit here. I think that's so pretty. Okay, an absolute basic now. This is just an off-the-shoulder purple crop. They've also got this in so many different colours, and again, I just thought, you know what, I need something like that, even to pair with the white joggers if I wanted to, but that's a really spring-like colour, and I'm absolutely loving my pastel colours at the moment. This one, I think, was either £4 or £6, and I got that in a 10. Again, it's quite generous for a 10, probably could have got an 8, but like I said, I don't like my clothes to be all tight, so... That was that one. Okay, this colour is just everything. Absolutely love the fit of this top and I'll probably get a few more colours just because they're so comfy and I feel like they'll just go with everything. Love the whole one shoulder detail and I'm actually glad I went for a size 10 now. And then I also picked up some jewellery, which is all stuck together. So it's actually fallen off the thing. But this is just a silver cross choker. Um, as you can see, da, 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 where have you gone? There, there we go. So as you can see here, this is just a really plain silver choker. As you guys know, most of my jewellery is silver, um, so I do tend to wear a lot of silver jewellery. Having said that, I also picked up this really chunky gold necklace. Now, I just feel like I needed something like this to add a bit of detail, because sometimes they do just add a bit more detail. It is quite chunky, and I'm not really used to the whole of like cold... 
kind of like gold chunky jewelry vibe but the love heart detail is cute so i would tend to just wear this with something to dress it up a little bit if i was wearing a really plain outfit and then i also picked up these earrings which i absolutely love they're actually a bit bigger than i thought but these are just some dangly earrings with a little hoop i just feel like these add a little bit of detail i mean probably wouldn't see them much in my ears because of my hair but particularly when I'm going out I like to wear earrings like this and they aren't that heavy and um, they've just got little diamantes all along the side which I don't even know if you can see I apologize this is basically like a little chain effect and then just the earrings so yeah these were all really cheap and I just felt like I needed to upgrade my jewelry a little bit just add a few more like key pieces um so that is everything that i picked up in my boohoo haul i really really hope you enjoyed don't forget to use my discount code if you fancy ordering yourself something and treating yourself and i will also link everything below for you and i would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel give it a big thumbs up and comment below and i will see you in my next video also enjoy the bank holiday weekend